These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here, and yeah, today, woo, we got a mech. We got a mech mod. This is the Mod Maker 21700 304 stainless steel copper contact mech mod called the Revival Mech Mod. It's got some, you know, pretty severe Kennedy Vindicator vibes to it. And I think that's just because of like the little slender swoopy kind of in the middle area. It's there for a reason. It's deliberate. That is where this mech, it's so unbelievably well balanced. That little cutout is right where your fingers are going to go. Boom, like that. Cali claw the bottom. These revival mechs, from what I understand, are manufactured in China, but they're sort of assembled and finished in the UK. All of the fit and finishing and polishing happens there. And overall, man, it's put together real well. The threads are pretty okay. They're not great. The bottom threads along the switch especially feel a little bit loose. Sometimes when I'm taking my battery in and out or I'm taking the atomizer off of the top, I get a, a little bit of squeakiness from the threads in there. Overall, it's pretty nice. And I, I, I had, do have to point out that I got mine and there was metal, uh, like a shaving of metal sort of sticking out of the top. It looked like a wire, but it was actually part of the mod. And I had to go through with my little clippers and clip that off. And it left just the tiniest little burr across the top. And I think really that's kind of an, a weird anomaly that I just got because the rest of the mod itself it's machined real nice. There are some vent holes across the top, so we're always putting our battery in positive side up. And with the mention of vent holes, I do feel like I need to mention, and I hate saying this, but these types of devices like mech mods are really for like advanced users who kind of know what they're doing. There's a little bit of like know-how and knowledge and Ohm's law involved in running mech mods safely. We kind of just reviewed the Cathyla mech mod from Deathwish Mods. I gave the same speech there, but just, I mean, more than any other vape in the history of vaping, we need to be careful with mech mods. And with that said, the copper contacts on this, that hybrid top cap, it, it just hits like a fucking freight train. I did get two adapters for the top of this as well. One of them was for a 22 millimeter atomizer, which I don't use 22 millimeter atomizers anymore. 22 millimeter atomizers, I don't know, to me, seem like a little bit of a relic from the past. I haven't seen a lot of like dripper 22 millimeter atomizers. There are plenty of little squonky, you know, little squonky type of 22 millimeter atomizers, but nothing really for a dripper. I think it's cool that he included that. I'm probably never going to use it. I've just been doing the 24 millimeter, 25 millimeter top cap with a 24 millimeter RDA, and it just leaves like the measurements say, it leaves about one millimeter of like lip edge on there, but you honestly can't tell. You can't see just from looking at it. It looks like a slick, smooth tube unless you feel and you go, oh, there it is. <laughs> There's that one millimeter. I can feel it. And because of those different millimeter adapters on top, literally every time I unscrew my RDA, it's taken the top cap with it, which I mean, isn't really anything new. I have a mess of mech mods that do the same thing. Hang on. This back cabinet is home to literally all the devices that I want to keep out. Well, most of the devices I want to keep out. And then this top shelf is literally just mech mods, just the mech mods that I decided I love so much. I have to keep them. This Immortal Mods kind of does the same thing, obviously on a much bigger scale. This Ronin mech that I used for literal years. I think I used this all of 2017, all of 2018, kind of does the same thing. All the old, like every tugboat mech mod I ever had did it. The Anarchist mech mods did it. The Vape Workstat MMK mechs from Indonesia did it. So it's not all that unusual. And one design thing I think that they did really, really well with this is just a really slick design is on the inside of the adapters, the edges of the walls are sort of beveled in. I first saw the bottom of this and I thought, whoa, why is there not an insulator there? How is there not an insulator there? That's directly touching your battery. Well, because of the way that they machined the sidewalls, the battery is physically too big. It can't slide down far enough because of those angled walls on there. So it's actually like a mechanical insulator. I just thought that was kind of awesome.
the button or switch itself, really very nice. I have the soft spring in here. I'm a soft spring kind of guy. They do a soft spring. They do a hard spring. I really just like that like feathery light soft squishy button on the bottom of a mech mod it just travels so smoothly in there i thought it was magnets i thought it was magnets at first because of how smoothly that button travels in there on the battery side of the switch there's sort of this little pedestal little spring-loaded pedestal that the battery just kind of sits on this is so there doesn't need to be any adjustments to take up for battery rattle which modern vapors might not even know what i'm talking about but once upon a time battery rattle and mech mods was a really big deal and we just didn't know how to conquer it the switch which itself can be taken apart. I saw him do it in the UK, but try as I might, I just cannot grip it tight enough to unscrew that. It involves holding the switch and then kind of like jamming on the contact with your thumb, trying to get it like de-threaded. I don't know if mine is super glued down, but I have not been able to get this switch apart. Not that I would necessarily want to. I have access to the contacts. I don't need to take that switch apart unless I want to swap out the spring, which I don't. And despite you know, like any little nitpicks I have with this mech mod, I, I just want to say it's really nice seeing and using a mech mod in 2023. And it's really nice seeing and using a mech mod in 2023. It was clearly designed by someone who loves and uses mech mods. It's, I mean, it's damn near essentially everything I would want in a tube mech. It's not, you know, reinventing the wheel in any capacity, but what it does, it does well. It's pretty versatile for a mech mod. And I think when it's all said and done, this is going to land pretty firmly, in my opinion, very confidently in that like, you know, eight and a half banana sticker kind of area. It, feel, it feels like a solid B, like maybe even like a solid B plus, but easily a solid B. The switch is nice, but it's not the smoothest switch I've ever had. The threading is nice, but it's not the smoothest threading I've ever had. I haven't played the Aliens game in quite a while, but I've been taking a fancy with this uh, Revival mech mod. And I like to think that if I had nothing, my entire collection was decimated and I had no mech mods, definitely. I like mech mods. I love them. I like to have multiple mech mods and the Revival right now is fitting right on my desk, right along with everything else. And it's just nice to see a tube mech on the desk. This can kind of hold up against literally every mech mod I've ever loved. <laughs> All right. Well, I've, clearly I'm just sitting here vaping. So this is going to be the end of the video. I can't tell you exactly how much these cost, but I have seen them for, let's say, under $120. And I definitely can't tell you where you can get one, but I can tell you this. If you're a person right now watching this video, you currently smoke tobacco cigarettes. Hi, it's time to quit. Better living through science, better living through technology. I believe in you. It's easier than ever. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm going to put links to just science, just education. This has been a grim green video. Yeah, let's stay smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 1030 and then I'm uh, just going to smoke. So.